Hey, hello and welcome all my dear second standard little champs, girls and boys, how are you? This is Rohan sir from Mehdi English Medium School. Children, once again welcome to the English lecture, English interesting lecture because today we are going to have a wonderful revision on the demand of students as well as few many parents because students says that sir if we understand the lesson we no more have to learn the answer because we already know what the lesson is for that we have to read the lesson for reading we need to improve the reading so this is how the process is and for reading and understanding continuously you should have the practice of reading so let us start today the practice of reading in from this lecture itself so that's why i have made today the lecture for practicing the reading skills we will start reading lesson number 12 and then we will go lesson number 11 and 10 anti clockwise so along with the lessons along with the reading practices i will ask you the questions after each one or two paragraphs whenever i think is possible and you will have to answer that in your books you have to write the answer for that now what do we have to exactly do is when i read i will wait for one one second after uh, one or two seconds after three or four words you have to repeat after me as you do in the poem it's very simple say for an example if i'm reading english reading practice so you have to speak after me english reading practice so this way you will practice reading i will after reading i will hold for one or two seconds again i will read so this way after each one or two paragraphs i will ask you the question you have to note down the answer for that in your rough book that is compulsory i'm not giving you any choice if you don't send the work to your follow-up teachers they are deducting your marks not for not giving the homework regularly so please make sure that you watch this lecture and you follow each and every instruction given so please write the answers after each one or two paragraphs when i ask you the question write question sorry the answer number properly and this way you will be able to not only develop your speaking skills reading skills but also your listening skills that how much are you able to read with me so i hope you people are ready for that you don't have to take out your textbook yes if you have if you want to take out lesson 12 choice is yours but anyways the textbook i'm going to display it on the screen so as such there will be no need for you to take out the textbook but like i said still the choice is yours but i hope that at least you understood the format how we are going to work it out in this lecture so again i'm repeating i will read two or three words in the sentence you have to repeat after me you have to keep repeating and until one or two paragraphs are over and then then i'll ask you the question you have to note down the answer for that in the given few seconds of time okay let's get started lesson 12 grandma tell me about pongal so pongal now we have almost revised it at least three times this is a very 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 interesting story we might have read at least three times then that is why i picked up this chapter first students wherever you are sitting wear your hands free earphones earplugs earbuds whatever you have so that you will be able to listen to me properly and repeat the sentence after me make sure when i ask you to read the lines with me i am very serious this is not the joke going on today if you will not learn how to read in the higher standards you will face big problems for not be able to learn so please enjoy this as well as take it seriously try to repeat the sentences in the way i do it after me so i hope you are ready with your books and pencil to write the answer when i ask you the question let's get started 
प्लीज रिपीट विथ मी ए कॉलम इज ए डिजाइन मेड ऑन द फ्लोर ऑफ ए हाउस यूजिंग राइस पाउडर और चॉक पाउडर सो दिस वे स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव टू रिपीट आफ्टर मी ओके आई होप यू ऑल ऑल आर रिपीटिंग विथ मी इट कैन बी मेड इन मैनी शेप्स एंड कलर्स ए कॉलम इज कॉल्ड अल्पाना इन वेस्ट बंगाल मुगलू इन आंध्र प्रदेश एंड रंगोली इन मैनी अदर पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया ओके सो दिस वे दिस वॉज जस्ट जस्ट अ टेस्ट सेशन आई होप दैट यू आर रिपीटिंग आफ्टर मी नाउ लेट स्टार्ट रीडिंग ऑफ एक्चुअल लेसन I will wait for one one second or one and a half second, wherever or whichever way I feel is required. You have to just start speaking when I stop. I mean to say when I hold. Anu returned from home from school. She was very happy. Her grandmother was sitting. and reading a book okay students so what are you repeating after me please take care of this that you have to repeat it in the way i'm doing it hello grandma said anu her grandmother looked up and said hello my child how was your day it was great you know we have holidays for 4 days starting from tomorrow said anu excitedly that is great anu replied grandmother but why do you have holidays of course you know grandma it is pongal yes i know that anu smiled grandmother she closed the book and kept it next to the pot students please read and repeat after me loudly as i am reading okay Pongal is an important festival in Tamil Nadu in the village we even decorate our cattle okay now my first question to you students keep your pencils ready in your hand you have to listen to me my question and directly write the answer from whatever we have read i will ask you the question are you ready with the pencil give the heading chapter 12 and then don't write anything else just write the answer when you hear my question properly where did annu return from this is my first question where did annu return from i hope you read it with me properly where did the anu return from did you write the answer students please write the answer this way you have to write the answer on the spot when i ask you the question okay only one question let's continue reading please read it with me properly and mother cooks nice sweet pongal in a new pot said anu but grandma please tell me more about this festival students i hope you are repeating with me 
श्योर डियर सेड ग्रैंड मदर पोंगल इज ए फोर डे फेस्टिवल सेलिब्रेटेड इन तमिलनाडु ऑन द फर्स्ट डे कॉल्ड भोगी वी क्लीन अवर होम्स एंड डिस्कार्ड द ओल्ड थिंग्स ऑन द सेकेंड डे बिफोर द पूजा वी ड्रॉ ब्यूटिफुल डिजाइन्स कॉल्ड कोलम ऑन द फ्लोर्स ऑफ द हाउसेस यूजिंग राइस पाउडर लेट्स मूव यस वी मेक कॉलम्स टू मदर मिक्सिस एट विथ कलर्ड पाउडर सेड अनु ओके टिल हियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू रेड इट विथ मी नाउ द क्वेश्चन टू यू इज पोंगाल इज हाउ मेनी डेज फेस्टिवल or pongal festival is of how many days come on write the answer okay now i hope and i suppose that you are repeating the sentences the words with me so as to make your pronunciation very clear and reading powerful okay let us continue i hope that students all of you might be repeating the words with me oh yes and they look so bright replied grandmother but grandma why do we celebrate pongal this festival is important because it is related to agriculture did you speak this word properly students agriculture or you like anu you are also not able to speak agri what continue reading students with me grandma repeated slowly agri kal char it is the practice of working in the fields and growing plants for food but why should anyone work in the fields my father works in an office okay students now one more question up till here now pongal is the festival related to which activity listen to me very carefully pongal is the festival related to which activity so i hope that you are drafting the answers and you will send it to me as soon as the lecture gets over and i also hope that along with me you are also doing the reading part properly so that your reading improves my only and only intention is to you to, to enhance your skills of reading okay 
not everyone works in an office anu in our country a lot of people work in the fields they are called farmers thanks to them we get rice pulses fruits and vegetables to eat students i hope that you were repeating with me now your question is who works in the fields listen to me very carefully who works in the fields come on draft the answer for this question who works in the field fields i hope that you are writing the answer you are understanding the chapter along with reading it okay the next page oh how nice grandma see students this is exclamatory mark so you have to read it accordingly oh how nice grandma so as i was saying on this day the farmers thank the sun god for helping them grow plants which by now are ready to be cut and sold in the market on the second day rice is cooked with jaggery and milk in a pot so students when you are reading with me you have to pay a careful attention here you cannot look here and there otherwise you will you will miss out the word sometimes it happens that you are not able to write the spelling fast because you think the letter the word letter by letter if you grasp the whole word you will not be taking more than few minutes to complete certain work it is first offered to the sun god and then shared with relatives and friends the sweet dish this sweet dish is called pongal were you repeating it with me students if you were really repeating you would have understood more than half of the chapter because this is what i have already explained it to you let's continue anyways on the third day the cattle that help the farmers in the fields are decorated with garlands and bells they are also fed with pongal okay now the question for you students a very easy question to you so what is done on the second day a one line answer must be there what is done on the second day come on i hope that you are drafting your answers what hap what happens in the on the second day of pongal okay how 
or with what are the bell or kettles decorated with what things are the kettles decorated okay i suppose you should have finished writing the answer by now and i hope that you are drafting the answers properly with answer number anyways on the third day the kettle that help the farmers in the fields are decorated with garlands and bells they are also fed with pongal continue then on the fourth day the farmers take a day off and enjoy the day with their relatives and friends okay one more question so your question is on which day farmers takes take day off on which day farmers take a day off come on come on think about it on which day farmers take a day off from their work okay i suppose you should have finished writing the answer by now now the second question pongal is first offered to dash pongal is first offered to dash quickly think about the answer and draft it okay let us continue the reading part i hope that you have drafted the draft the answer grandma so is this festival only celebrated in tamil nadu asked annu students please read the lines properly after me no annu pongal is celebrated in many parts of india in karnataka and andhra pradesh it is known as makar sankranti grandma i have learnt something new today but tomorrow you must tell me a nice story sure dear said grandmother annu hugged her grandmother okay students so i was giving you sufficient enough time to read after me when i was reading the lines i hope that you are reading it loudly with me if you want to practice reading this chapter now you have the good way to watch the lecture again and again from the youtube so that each and every word how to pronounce how to speak that word will be pretty clear to you now the question until here where else is pongal celebrated where else is pongal celebrated come on quickly think about it where else is pongal celebrated i hope that you are writing the answer okay in andhra pradesh pongal is known as dashk in andhra pradesh pongal is known as dashk
students i hope that you are writing the answer properly so this proves that even if you read anything very properly you will be able to not only understand the language but also find the answers so this is the main problem what happens is when we send you the explanation video your first duty is to watch the video not only to watch but to grasp the word which i am reading and explaining it to you so once if the chapter if the lesson in the sequence is clear in your mind no one will be able to stop you from answering any question let it be a objective or subjective so this is what i thought this is how your base is weak so i will be sending you different lectures in which you will have to repeat the sentences the words after me this way you will enhance your speaking listening skills your understanding skills you know the more you will read the more you will be able to understand the story the concept and the way you read is also very important it plays a vital role you cannot read question as if you are reading a sentence and vice versa if i say what is your name you cannot just say what is your name no what is your name so that tone is also very important when you are reading that is what we are going to practice now for few days so keep watching the lecture keep developing your skills i hope you enjoyed this lecture and you will soon send the answers which i asked you verbally throughout the lecture have a nice day take care of your health wear the masks and keep sanitizing your hand goodbye